Hello! We are still working our way through Cymbeline on Shakespeare. Today we are in Act 2, Scene 4, where Posthumus is chatting with his friend Filario. Filario was a friend of Posthumus's biological father, um, and when Posthumus gets banished, he goes and lives with Filario in Rome. So the two of them are chatting, and they're sort of they're chatting a little bit about the bet in regard to Imogen's chastity, and um, they're talking a little bit of, of politics, that sort of thing, you know, as you do, just a couple guys chatting before the rest of the scene goes bonkers. And one thing that I do want to mention from yesterday's scene, where we had Clotten sort of going off on Imogen to the point where she's like, you know what, the tiniest piece of posthumous's clothing that ever touches back i hold that more dearly than i hold you and clotten latches on to this garment his meanest garment thing um she also then sends one of her handmaidens to try to find the bracelet that giacomo had taken off of her wrist while she was asleep because it, um when she and posthumous had to part ways she gave him a ring he gave her a bracelet so she has noticed that the bracelet is not there and has sent people off to look for it so that's going to be important very soon anyway so today we have posthumous in act two scene four talking to filario and talking about politics because we need to have something else going on in this play and it sounds like Caesar Augustus is probably going to start levying new taxes and he's going to try to get um, British people to pay their tributes and that sort of thing and Posthumus says I do believe statist though I am none nor like to be that this will prove a war and you shall hear the legion now in Gallia sooner landed in our not fearing Britain than have tidings of any penny tribute paid our countrymen are men more ordered than when Julius Caesar smiled at their lack of skill, but found their courage worthy the frowning at? Their discipline, now wing-led with their courages, will make known to their approvers. They are people such that mend upon the world. So he's got faith. He's got strong, strong faith that the Britons will fight back against the Romans if the Romans try to subjugate them or whatever, make them pay, make them pay taxes. Um, and I'll tell you about more of the rest of Act 2, Scene 4 tomorrow before we get to hear from Posthumus again in Act 2, Scene 5, which Act 2, Scene 5 is just Posthumus doing a monologue. But anyway, more on that tomorrow. I'll see you then.